Hi folks, Steve Capose here at the Adventuring and Camping School in North East Thailand. I've already got a few videos online talking about my primitive style, bushcraft style pot hanger made from a piece of bamboo. My tripod cooking system made from Rio bar and a bit of wire. And then my extended tripod system or pot hanger with two tripods and a crossbar. And this adjustable gizmo, I've got a few hooks and so forth. I better test out all this stuff. I'm just going to boil up a pot of water and I'm just going to make a cup of coffee and a packet of noodles. Just a simple meal. But the main purpose is to boil um, a full pot of water up to boil just to show that all these systems work. Okay, stick with me and we'll um, test out all this gear. I've just got my large cooking pot on the bamboo hanger here. It's the largest stainless steel pot that I use. 16 centimeter diameter, holds 2.4 litres of water when full. And it's pretty much full here, not to the brim, but it's full, if you know what I mean. Let's bring it down. I'll keep it up for now. The bamboo pot hanger's holding up quite well. Let's see if I can bring it right down onto the fire. It maybe could have one more notch in between. Now I can put it down. I just want to try out my winding gizmo here. There you are. That's perfect as well. I've got a standard hook here. Perfect. But I want to go back to the primitive style pot hanger. That's the real demonstration. By the way, when you have a cooking pot, you have to have a pot with a full lid. It's got to be a full, tight fitting lid. No holes, no nothing. You can have adjustable holes, perhaps. But no holes for pot hangers or things. It's got to be a full complete lid. Even my small mini emergency pot, which holds less than two cups of water, about 600 mils, has a nice little tight fitting lid. No holes for hangers or whatever. That's what you need in a pot. And you notice how I've got two metal pots. I recommend whenever you go camping, you should have two metal cooking pots. Um, that's just my personal opinion. It gives you more options and flexibility. One pot should be a hanging pot, and one pot can be one you just put down on the ground or on top of a stove grill and have a fire or have it next to a fire like that. In both Expeditions 1 and 2, that's what I do. Expedition 1, I use that pot to make lunch next to a fire. Expedition 2, we had a hanging pot, that same hanging pot plus a larger um, pot I put next to the fire to make my tea. So you can see how my primitive style bamboo pot hanger is working fine. That's the low notch. I can bring it up. At the moment I can bring it up. It's a nice big fire. That's fine. That's better actually. But I've got all sorts of steel hooks and this adjustable gizmo works fine. It's got to be almost 2.4 litres of water in there. So I don't need so much water but this is just a demonstration to bring a pot of water to boil. I'll try and get a bit closer here for you guys. So there's my primitive style, um, bushcraft style pot hanger made from a piece of bamboo. I've only got two notches here. I could have had one in the middle. This higher one, it just gets a bit low, but with a bigger fire, the first notch is fine. You can see the height. If that was just a bed of coals, it would come down nicely to that pot. Of course, this thing is going to work fine. Any sort of hook's fine. But the main demonstration here was my bamboo pot hanger. Obviously, it can be cut from natural materials, piece of bamboo, 
and affordable pruning soil which you should have which I advocate you always have when you go camping and you can just cut those notches with affordable pruning saw and use your knife to knock out the um, pieces left and of course my tripod cooking system two tripods a crossbar just Rio bar with wire too easy forgot to mention that I'm out here at my base camp it's really a christening for the base camp still got my bamboo container where I made char cloth in those videos are online if you don't know what I'm talking about check it out making char cloth in a bamboo container no steel container coconut cup made from a coconut just sitting there I've got a Thai style stove here as well nice little stove we can cook on I ended up bringing the pot down to the lower um, notch setting right down and I'm just building the flames around the pot now just to get maximum heat there's already good heat down in the coal so I want the pot right down so th there you are that lower setting does work quite well right down bang and just build flames around the pot let's have a look in there oh yeah check that out just about boiled I may not need any more fire this is only a cooking fire so that's boiling that's fine no more wood for a cooking fire don't need to keep a raging fire going you use up as much wood as you need to make your fire to boil your water essentially or to cook your food and even when the flames go out you've got a hotbed of coals that you can put a fry pan on that and cook eggs that's how much heat's still there and that's a boil on the primitive style pot hanger done deal guys that's lunch and that's coffee so this is the quick demonstration of the bamboo pot hanger large pot over two liters worth boiled lunch coffee so there it is demonstration done okay I hope that was interesting I hope this video helps and someone finds some use in it and um, I'll see you next time